Okay, so we're here at the downhill zone in the University District in Seattle, and Adam's going to put my pivot Firebird on a on a diet, a bike diet. It's got it hanging up on the digital scale, and we're going to check out the before. Yeah, Adam. So here we go. It's yeah, it's hard to see from the angle, but it's 34 even. There you go, 34. So Adam, tell me what you're gonna do to my bike. Well, we're putting it on a diet. The goal is to try to get this thing down to a little bit more climbing friendly weight. Um, the fork is gonna be probably the, the first big step. Uh, it's currently Lyric U-turn uh, coil. So that's the original model from 08, I believe. And they were around 5.7 pounds. And Replacing it with the brand new 2010 Solo Air model, tapered steer tube, which right away helps save some weight because they can make the wall thickness thinner. Um, the casting has been slightly redesigned, and then it also has the Maxil light system in it, which shaves a good amount of weight. So this fork is uh, 4.9, and so we're looking at almost a pound, 0 0.8, 0 0.8 pounds. Uh, so that should uh, be a good chunk there. Um, Plus the gloss looks super cool. Yes, the gloss does look super cool, <laughs> and it's also going to match beautifully his uh, his fresh Cell Italia oh, yeah. what SLR. Kind of saddle is that? This is a Cell Italia SLR XC, so it's a it's a cross country mountain bike version of their popular road saddle. Differences are the uh, the Lorica lac top versus the uh, the full grain leather finish on the road ones. It's a little more durable. It's actually a little bit smoother, which I like because it, it makes kind of baggy shorts move a little easier next to it. Plus it has the Kevlar corners, a little bit more uh, crash crash resistant, oh, cool. you could say. Um, one of the other big uh, changes is going to be the brakes. Currently, we got a set of the Magura Louise BATs on there. Uh, those weigh around 450 grams per brake without rotors or adapters. And we're moving to the 2010 Formula of the Ones, which are one piece forge caliper, one piece forge master cylinder. Um, they come in at 308 grams uh, per per wheel without rotor or adapter. So you're looking at a weight savings of uh, 150 grams per wheel, which is significant to say the least in a brake system. Um, Plus they got the super cool gold. Super cool gold to match your gold link there. Kind of matches the whole motif of the bike. Um, yeah. And the power of these brakes is uh, is impressive to say the least. They uh, have a special uh, cup shaped piston. It's got a little concave on the inside of it, allows more fluid volume inside the caliper, and they have a very strong hydraulic leverage ratio. So, yeah, cool. they're uh, uh, as light as a lot of other companies' cross country brakes, but uh, stronger than, than most of the other brakes on the market, period. Um, one of the other things we're going to do is get the new Formula uh, lightweight rotors. And you can kind of see they have a a new kind of starfish looking pattern uh, uh, removes a lot of the material in the central mounting area. Um, you already got a, a Marta rotor on the back of, of this bike currently, so there's not going to be a huge weight savings there, but up front he's rocking a yeah. venti currently, yep. and we're going to be looking around a weight savings of about 80 grams in just the rotor alone. Venti looks sweet, but let's face it, it's a pig. It's a pig. So that's what a change we're making. He already has tie bolts, so he's covered there. Yeah. Um, the pedals. pedals. Oh, tell me about the pedals. So this is a relatively new product on the market from a company called Point One. They are actually based in San Jose, California, and all their products are produced there, uh, which is nice to support a domestic company. Uh, this is called their Podium pedal, and as you can see, it has a very thin profile uh, compared to other pedals on the market. Say, if we were looking at just your basic standard fun. You can see that it's oh, yeah. it's half the half the thickness. So you're getting your foot closer to the axle. It's going to be a better feel, better grip on the pedal. Um, it's also better ground clearance. These uh, pedals are constructed out of a 7000 series aluminum. All the corners are chamfered and, and rounded to try to deflect and prevent any rock impacts as much as possible. The bolts actually thread through the body and then are tightened on the backside, which uh, I really prefer from a mechanic standpoint because on normal pedals, if they just thread directly in, if you hit it on a rock and it bends, not only is the pin ruined, but 
oftentimes it'll wallow the hole and then you can't thread a new pin back in right. and you've lost a traction pin. So these, if you ever hit one, you bend one, you just cut it off with a Dremel, back it out the backside, drop a new bolt in and you're good. Wow. Uh, four bearings per pedal, two on the uh, outside, two on the inboard, and the axle's tapered, which is very strong. Um, it's a relatively new product, but I'm really a big fan. I got a set on my bike already, and uh, I think they're one of the few airtight products out there. There's not really much I can fault on this one. Um, we're also moving to a, uh, a masterpiece seat post over his standard Thompson. Uh, these usually save around 80 grams. As you can see from the inside, they, uh, as opposed to the standard Thompson ovalized shape, they weight about mm, three inches up. Uh, before they do the ovalization, so they take some weight out here. And it's just a, a, a material management project through the entire uh, machining process. And the amazing thing about this is it's, it's comparable to carbon, right? I mean, It's not, lighter than most carbon. It's lighter so, yeah, than most typically, carbon. Yeah, typically there's, there's a few carbon posts out there that will come very close to this weight, but it's still, if for its size and its dimension, usually it's, it's lighter than anything I've seen out there. Um, and you're getting the, the you know, the, the Thompson's heritage of having the strongest seat posts on the oh, yeah. market. No uh, no brakes really to ever that I've known of. Um, and a fully independent two bolt adjustment. You can put the seat anywhere you like. Uh, you're not stuck with one bolt or, or some goofy system. It, it's predictable. You got it. So, and so what's this little, little That pad is boy? a Thai granny from Action Tech. Kind of a small company. Uh, <laughs> this was just, uh, you know, basically we were this came about because of uh, actually because of the cassette choice that we'll be talking about in a minute. Um, uh, we were looking to get, keep the gearing range a little bit easier, um, but this new trick cassette from SRAM only comes in 1132, so we decided to go for a 20 tooth granny to keep the climbing gear close. Um, and yeah, this company, Action Tech, they do a stamped titanium 20 tooth granny. They do a 21 and 22 and 23 and 24. Um, Where are they based? I don't know where they're based, actually. Okay. They're in California. Okay. Um, cool. But it's uh, just a way to get the gearing down and keep things light. And but the yeah. cluster, you know, this is hard to believe. I mean, yeah. this, so this is a, says this. This is the piece de resistance here. Um, this is the SRAM. Uh, they call this the XG999. Um, it's essentially the same technology they developed for their Power Dome Road cassettes and their XX uh, 2x10 mountain bike cassette. Uh, it's, it starts with a, a solid chunk uh, 4130 steel and then it spends nine hours on a CNC machine to get this entire piece here all milled out it starts with one chunk and you can see it's completely hogged out on the inside yeah. um, every individual gap in between each teeth has been notched out for weight savings and each and basically they have a you know a spirally mapped pattern it's been computer modeled to improve the shifting um, the first gear your, your largest ring is actually a, a hard anodized 7000 series aluminum, which uh, is replaceable, which is nice because that, that ring tends to wear out quicker than some of the other ones. So not only does it save weight, but it's uh, replaceable if you do wear through it. This, uh, this cassette is 175 grams, which is 50 grams lighter than an XTR tie and is 110 grams lighter than the older XT cassette that Paul currently has on his bike. So. That's a big wow. weight savings, especially on the back of the, the bike, on a moving, it's on the moving aspect of the suspension. So that's gonna help with unsprung weight and uh, sure does look cool too. Wow. <laughs> so overall, how much, what, what are we looking at? Either? Well, I don't know, we could do some math here. 50. And we're not even talking yet about the wheels. Uh, right. Because right. they're not available yet. <laughs> 80 for a rotor, uh, 80 for a seat post, 110 for a cassette. Uh, pedals are gonna be, probably at least 120 grams um, and the fork you know that's a uh, I'm gonna estimate that's probably around 400 grams so with just what we're talking about here um, well and the saddle is probably a little lighter than when you have on there uh, that's oh, probably yeah. around 230 grams so yeah right I'm gonna estimate a 70 gram loss on that okay you're looking at a thousand twenty grams so we're talking about 2.3 pounds, um, and that's just a rough estimate. You know, this this is probably going to be lighter too. It's hard to factor that in. Yeah. Um, that's probably going to be another 20 grams or so. And then yeah, in the wheels, I mean, I'm estimating in the wheels to be at least a, at least a pound and a half, um, because you got a pretty stout wheel set on here now. Yeah. And they're 450 grams. I'm guessing this is at least 2,000 grams. Oh yeah. So um, 
No, because I got USTs on um, right. front and rear. So and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that you're going to have... With the a, tires. I think a four-pound drop is not out of the ballpark yep. with the wheels. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you're going to be over two pounds just with what we're talking about here. Um, the, uh, the wheels will be the interesting thing to, to see how it turns out. And then, yeah, what your tire choice is with the, uh, the UST pavens if you decide to go UST or not. Um, Okay. Cool. All right. Well, we'll report back. Okay. Thanks. Yep.